Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. And it was a fairly nice day to be strolling around, maybe doing a little shopping. Let's take a look at what's going on or was going on earlier in the day. Temperatures topped out at 51 degrees in Providence, 50 in Smithfield, 49 Newport, 50 in Westerly. Can kiss those kind of temperatures goodbye for a little while as we have some cooler air that'll be coming on in over the next 24 hours and it will get progressively colder over the next several days. Downtown Providence right now we've got quiet conditions, still lots of clouds overhead, but the clouds will be leaving through the night. Hurricane Barrier Cam, you can see things are nice and quiet here in the upper reaches of Narragansett Bay where a few harbor seals were actually spotted earlier this afternoon. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, nice and dry across all of Rhode Island, nearby Massachusetts. Temperature at 43 degrees in Seacock with a light wind west southwest about four or five miles an hour over in Warwick on Route 2 42 degrees. They've got a wind from the northwest at six miles an hour. Those winds are going to be bringing in some drier air and cooler air into southern New England. Upper 30s and lower 40s across southern New England at the moment and overnight tonight temperatures will be bottoming out around the freezing point in uh, even in Providence, maybe a little colder to the north and west. Tonight, Monday and Tuesday, our threat track Low chance of anything severe, fairly quiet over the next, uh, well, five, six days or so, but it will be colder, that's for sure. Satellite radar picture showing some rain showers still offshore. We've got clouds working through New England at the moment. Temperatures are falling behind a cold front that's coming on through already down to the mid 30s across New York State. It'll be uh, a lot cooler later in the night tonight with the skies clearing out. Tomorrow, noticeably cooler. Today we topped out about 51, only in the low to mid 40s tomorrow, and it'll get even colder than that as we head through uh, the last couple of days of 2014. Future cast for the overnight. You can see those clouds breaking apart. We're going to take you right into tomorrow morning about 8 o'clock. We'll have some sunshine and taking you through the rest of the morning and into the afternoon, maybe just a few thin, wispy clouds. Other than that, looks to be pretty quiet right into tomorrow evening, but yet yeah, cooler. Temperatures overnight bottoming out around 32 degrees by around 6 o'clock in the morning. Your morning commute, if you have to go to work, it'll be quiet, cool, dry temperatures in the 30s. Across the Providence metro area tomorrow, temperatures should be topping out about 40 to 45 degrees. 45 Warwick, 45 Cranston, and in Providence. Along the coastline, temperatures in the mid 40s. Charlestown and Newport with sunshine, sunny skies, dry, maybe a little bit colder in Boroughville and Foster 4041 southeastern mass temperatures should be topping out in the low to mid 40s. Here's your future cast and we are expecting colder weather. Look at Tuesday starting out around 24 getting up into the mid 30s. Now on Wednesday we're looking at some cold weather here as well. Uh, midnight temperature Wednesday into Thursday probably around 23 24 degrees. Starting off cold on Thursday and again on Friday, maybe some rain on Saturday and uh, Sunday. We'll watch that system very closely, but we're looking at some cooler weather for the next several days. Kiss those mild temperatures goodbye. And from your little graphics, it looks like a fair amount of sun despite the drop. In. It should be a, a yeah. fairly bright week, which is good news too. That is good news. TJ, thank you so much. And still to come on I